Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, if you're happy with your network the way it is today, can you clap your hands for me? The silence is deafening. That's the, uh, that's the, the problem that we're, we're trying to solve at, at Big Switch, to transform networks uh, in much the same way that, that compute has been transformed over the last really, uh, really decade. Thanks, Jacob. Um, there's a transition going on in a network, and it's a transition that all of us here are very, very, very familiar with because we've already seen it happen in, in compute. The move to horizontal systems, the move to open architectures, be it the x86 architecture that got us out of the mainframe era, or, uh, or Linux that got us to an open operating system for the, for the data center. Um, those open systems fundamentally changed compute. This is preaching to the choir because we're at OpenStack. Um, the same thing occurred in, in the mobile world where we got out of the uh, Nokia 6600 series uh, era and did that through really an open platform for computing, meaning the APIs were open. I'm not claiming that iOS is open. Um, but these, the openness of, of systems in the data center and compute and the open API that was a, a, an API that folks could get a, gather around and get things to market, it just hasn't happened in, in networking. And the question is why, is, why is networking stuck in the mainframe era? I think the answer to that is that it's been controlled by vendors who had interests in keeping the system vertically integrated so they could sell one big kind of you know, mainframe for the network. OpenFlow is trying to, uh, trying to change that on the network and, and enable these, these horizontal systems to be, to be rolled out. It does that by being a remote API into switches, a remote API that enables folks to instrument the switch, program the switch, really set up the flows in the flow table within a switch. And the key thing is that it's an open standard driven by network operators and customers rather than you know, another, another quasi API from a, from a company. So Big Switch is focused on taking OpenFlow and providing a platform on top of OpenFlow. So if OpenFlow is the instruction set for the, for the network, the x86 for the network, it needs, a, it needs an OS and a, sort of a, a metaphorical OS. Um, our controller is that, that, that platform. Um, our big network controller product is based on Project Floodlight, the Floodlight controller, the open source controller. There's been some recent developments in, uh, in, in open source recently in, in SDN with the Open Daylight project um, emerging as well. Our controller has been proposed to the Open Daylight Project as a, as a controller as well. So I expect to see the Floodlight Project and the Open Daylight Project working uh, sort of in, in concert. So we have an open API into the switches. We have an open controller platform that's, that's open source. And on top of that, we have an open API that enables folks to write applications on top of a controller. So it's like that, uh, that commercial from Mervyn's, open, open, open. So these are some folks who are using uh, Using Big Network Controller in production, there's a, a, lot of, a lot of folks who are building, building products around it, folks who are running, running networks on it. Um, we've seen it emerge from, uh, emerge from kind of the universities and research, really then in collaboration with universities and, and companies building products. We've seen OpenFlow really emerge from research and move to you know, commercial deployments really in the, last, in the last year. So if we look at the way compute has evolved, we can think of, uh, we're not maybe here yet because we're all working on getting this to be closer, but we can think of the network as, as really being, uh, sorry, compute really being clean and, and automated. If you can you know, roll out OpenStack, you can automate compute, automate storage. The network uh, isn't, isn't the case. As much as we're, uh, we're working on, on quantum, there's a, there's a lot left to do on the network. And today, in the network, if you've automated the way you roll out workloads and the way you, the way you spin up machines, the network still has a lot of manual tasks, a lot of um, typing at a command line, and a lot of setting up VLANs or, or VRFs or um, changing ACLs or setting up a, a firewall policy by hand. So all the work that's been done to automate computing is lost and turns manual in, in the network. And what happens in many cases is that folks have to fix a subnet to a, a rack or to a, you know, a set in the, in the data center. And when they do that, they lose the flexibility that they were seeking to achieve with with compute. So we're going about trying to change this piece of, uh, of, of the system and, and automate all the things that are manual tasks that take about, it really takes 10 to 14 days to do all the work on the network to, um, to roll out a new application. That's, a, that's too long. And these are, these are the kind of tasks folks have to engage in and do manually. 
There's a lot of things that need to be you know, written down and documented and then chased down at a CLI. Sometimes you just you got to wait for a maintenance window on the network and first at the rack and uh, first at the rack level, then at the row level. These these manual tasks are what need to need to go away, and that's what Big Virtual Switch is is trying to do: virtualizing the network and making it as uh, as agile as the the compute infrastructure that's already already made a lot of progress here. So the Big Network Controller is the platform that provides the um, the foundation to program the switches, and Big Virtual Switch is is the application that virtualizes virtualizes the network and enables network automation. I won't spend too much time on the, the pieces of Big Network Controller. The key here is that Big Network Controller is based on the Floodlight Controller, and we've um, open sourced increasing, increasing pieces of it. So there's a, there's a Floodlight Core and other modules that have been, that have been recently open sourced. I'll show you a quick before and after of uh, Big Virtual Switch. I talked about how a subnet is often fixed to um, a rack or a row, and you lose the flexibility that you're trying to achieve. After you roll out virtual, vir big virtual switch, you can mix and match virtual machines inside of a, a physical compute and have IP ranges that might, might even conflict, have those things on a physical network where you can have tenants coming together in compute and on a single physical network, but each of these tenants has their own, their own virtual, virtual network that they can manage. We integrate with OpenStack um, with our Big Switch plugin that we released last fall. Um, we use the quantum APIs to um, instrument the network on the basis of, of tasks that folks complete within, within Horizon. Big Virtual Switch is the only network virtualization application that can work in a pure overlay mode or in a pure open, flame, open flow mode and combine virtual, uh, virtual switches with physical switches. And this is critical because if you want to pull in your, um, you know, your 20 gig firewall, or if you want to use those application delivery controller appliances that you've, you've invested in, you can't do that in a system that is only pure overlay. In a pure open flow model, you can get access to those physical resources. And in a hybrid model that lets you do the, sort of the best of both, you can combine virtual switches and tunneling with instrumenting a, an open flow physical network, putting those together, enabling folks to use their, you know, their F5 application delivery controllers or their Palo Alto firewalls inside of the virtual network. So I think it's critical that in, in any environment you need to be able to combine an open flow network, a new, new build out in the network with uh, a tunneled kind of overlay, overlay network. So I talked about Big Network Controller, the application platform. I talked about Big Virtual Switch. We have another product, Big Tap, that just won't, uh, won't spend the time to, to cover today. Um, they're, all, they're all available now, and if you want to see the most exciting thing, we've got a demo in the booth right over here where we can actually demonstrate service chaining today. So the thing that folks have been talking about in networking for, for years, that um, we, we, we've heard from, from other folks in, in the space that they'll, they'll do it someday, they might ship it next year. We can demo today. Um, we have a solution that works with Palo Alto and F5. It's available today and demoable right, right over there. Thanks so much, guys.